Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia, near Metro Atlanta. And today I'm going to do a follow-up video to a video I did earlier, probably late last year, in regards to my calendar and how I was able to sync up my Calendly calendar with my Google Calendar and how everything kind of flows to the iPhone that I am using now. And as you can see, I am on today's date, which is Monday, July the 25th. And as you can see, I have various appointments here and they're color coded. A few are holidays that are in here that I have turned on. But anywhere where you see a green marked event, that means it's from my business calendar. Where you see a blue marked event, that's from my personal Google calendar. And I've integrated both of those onto my Google business calendar. So that way everything shows up in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to switch over to the desktop so y'all can see what I'm doing in regards to how I got everything linked up. And hopefully you all can see that now. I am in my Calendly homepage here. And as you can see, I have a 45 minute free initial consult that I have set up in here. And what I was able to do from my account over here settings, I went to calendar connections and it's as easy as doing this. Now I'm using the free version. Now if you use the paid version, I think you can connect up to five calendars, but in this, particular instance, I connected just this one. And if you, and which is my Kathy at bookkeepingcleanandsimple.com calendar. And then I did these configurations where I set the calendar to check for conflicts to prevent double bookage. I also basically set the calendar that I would like to add new events to. And that's this one right here. So like I said, once I did that, and let me switch over to my Google Calendar so you can see what's going on with that. Okay, so as you can see, both of those calendars, the events are on here. So I have my personal calendar on here, which I have color coded in blue, just like I have on the iPhone. So if you go back and look at these, and let me go ahead and show you an example of me setting up something in here, and, and it can be just here on the 27th will be a good good one to do. I'm going to go to that day and do something for, let's say, and that's, that's actually the wrong time. That needs to be p.m., not a.m. All right, and I'm not going to add anything else. I'm going to go ahead and save it and then see what happens when we save that. Okay, so I've got 1 p.m. test appointment. So let's go ahead here. If it'll let me switch over to iPhone again. And I realized one thing I forgot to mention is that I don't actually get into showing you specifically where the Calendly link works to push information into the calendar, but I'll do that in a future video. As you can see, the test appointment appears on here. And if I click on it, I can set up the alerts for whatever I want to on my end. And I can make changes to it. And, it, and it's basically a two-way sync when, when you do all this. So basically what I did, and let me go ahead and stop this share and go back to the other calendar here. And hopefully you see that test appointment in here. And the reason why my personal stuff shows up on my iPhone as well is because I basically linked these two calendars together and I can see both my personal and professional appointments all in one calendar. And that way it will help me to not have the issue with double booking or anything like that, or it'll lessen the likelihood of that happening. So anyway, I hope this helps you today and I can help you set this up if you need to. 
like I said, I'm using the iPhone experience and, and, and I found that it works very seamlessly. And since I'm using the free Calendly link, I, that's the way that I have to configure it, but it, it's worked well for me up to this point. Anyway, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Y'all take care and I will see you all very soon. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks desktop or online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45-minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.